Now DeKalb County police are putting together the pieces of a fatal shooting at a hotel earlier this afternoon. Police believe a man shot a female family member and then turned the gun on himself. Well, the man died and the woman is still alive at this hour. 11 Alive's Don White joins us now at the Doubletree North Lake Hotel with what she's learned and the message from the domestic violence survivor. Don? Ron, this hotel may look normal now, but scared hotel guests surrounded it hours ago. The shot, the sounds of gunshots ringing out in the air. Right above yeah. us. This blown out window directly above her room. Crime scene vans and police vehicles. That's what Crystal Molino saw when she returned to the Doubletree Hotel along the Vista Road in Tucker. They said that there had been a shooting on the third floor and they just said, just don't go to the third floor. And then we find out later, I think it was a double shooting. I almost didn't get out. <laughs> I almost didn't get out of that car because there there was with, and nobody would tell us anything. And we checked, we're from Atlanta and we checked out the hotel. It's supposed to have been safe here. DeKalb County police say the shooter and victim are related, but didn't share how. More than 200 known family violence related fatalities happened in Georgia in 2021, according to the Georgia Commission on Family Violence. I still get chills down my spine when I hear someone talking to their wife, husband, any kind of way. Domestic violence survivor and advocate Christy Callison says these are some of the warning signs your loved one may be in an abusive relationship. A lot of paranoia. A lot of constantly, you know, wanting to know what are you doing, where are you going, who are you with. Callison has this message for those in a domestic violence situation. Just go to someone you trust, find a way to get out because if it starts with the yelling and the hitting, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it, he's going to do it. He, he or she is going to do it again. You know, it's affecting so many families across the country. So, Don, how is the victim doing tonight? Well, Ron, at last check, she is still listed in critical condition. Police have not released her name or that of the shooter and no word on how this all started. Don White for us tonight. Thank you.